Best news ever when it comes to saving our ocean from plastic. The world's largest ocean cleanup has officially begun. It was launched on September 8, 2018, and after weeks of testing, it was sent to its final destination, which arrived on October 16th at the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, located at the Central North Pacific Ocean which is halfway between Hawaii and California. This multi-million dollar system is designed to clean up 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic that is floating in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, it is a vortex of trash that is created by an ocean gyre in the North Pacific Ocean. It is so large that it can be seen from space with satellite and it covers 1.6 million square kilometers which is more than three times of the size of Spain which there are five gyres in the ocean that are collecting plastic garbage and the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest one and it contains 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic trash this floating boom is 600 meter long it drifts with wind and waves creating u-shaped configuration and it collects garbage with its three meter long netting that is below it each of the system is able to trap 150,000 pounds of garbage per year once all the garbage is collected it is then sent for recycling it is hoped and estimated that if they have 60 of these beams they're able to reduce the ocean plastic by 90 percent by the year 2040 this floating boom system was designed by a non-profit ocean cleanup which was founded in 2013 by an 18-year-old Dutch inventor and student, Boyan Slat. Now after six years at working on this project, at the age of 24, he has 80 employees and his dream of ocean cleanup has become a reality. It all began when he was in Greece diving and he came across more plastic than fish. So he had decided to devote his life and even to drop out of aerospace engineering program that he was enrolled at the time to save the world from plastic pollution. It is such an inspiring story to see a teenager with his passion to save the oceans from plastic has actually made this impossible task to a reality. But what does that mean for us? What is our responsibility when it comes to plastic? Should we just say, well great, now there's a way to clean the plastic. Let's just keep on going and doing whatever we were doing. I don't think so. I think it's quite the opposite. I think every single one of us have the responsibility to reduce the disposable plastic from our lives. Because as wonderful as this is, it's not going to be enough to get rid of all the plastic that is causing health issues and the harm to our environment. What about the microplastic that is in the ocean right now and is being ingested by the fish because they're so small that it's so hard to clean? What about all the, the chemicals that are seeping through our water that we're drinking from disposable plastic water bottles? And let's face it, the big multi-billion dollar companies who are producing plastic and the plastic production that is just increasing and the companies who are using this readable and cheap plastic have actually no interest to reduce the plastic. So it's really up to every single one of us as a global citizen to actually say we don't want to live in a world of plastic. We are the ones who can push our government and push the local businesses to say we don't want this disposable plastic change and it's only together that we may be able to eliminate plastic pollution.